Um, so as Vinod mentioned, uh, I lead uh, the mobile ad operations team for, for Asia Pacific. And every day, we run tens, even hundreds, of mobile advertising campaigns. <coughs> campaigns that show on iPhones, iPads, WAP devices, Android devices, Nokia, any device you can think of. We're showing ads, those devices, in Malaysia, in China, in Japan, syndicating those ads from Malaysia to the US, all with the flip of a switch. And we're tracking those. So it's important to, you know, it's important to understand what, is, what are the right analytics tool sets. Right? And it kind of differs. Google Analytics can solve almost all of your problems for mobile tracking. But there are slightly different methods across uh, applications, across WAP, across smartphone. And we're going to review some of those today. So uh, Google Analytics, even in the prior versions, it always played nice with, uh, with iPhones and Androids, phones that have full-featured HTML browsers. Analytics has always worked. So right now, if, a, if, a, if you have Google Analytics on your desktop site and an iPhone or Android visits it, you'll see it registered properly. No issues with tracking. It already works. Nothing else needs to be done. Right? Now we've also iterated on the product to add in application tracking and feature phone tracking. And that kind of makes up the tenets of mobile measurement. So to begin with, for those of you who don't have a mobile property yet, you already are seeing mobile visitors on your desktop site. And it's important to know how those visitors behave. That can dictate your, you know, your development on application platforms, on mobile websites, and how you want to optimize your mobile experience for the users that are already visiting your desktop site. We also can track mobile website usage. So you know, we're, going to we're going to optimize and customize our sites for the mobile experience, and analytics can track that across all devices. And lastly, if you have an application, analytics can solve your tracking needs there, too. Uh, across Android and iPhone, we have SDKs that do that. So that brings us to our uh, three points of discussion today, which are, number one, we're going to uh, review the mobile opportunity from your desktop site. Right? If you don't have a mobile property already, there is a mobile strategy to be implemented from your analytics on your desktop. Second, we'll look at mobile applications, and we'll end with a mobile website uh, case study. So to understand the mobile opportunity, uh, it really is important to understand how mobile users navigate through your website. And we're going to use uh, an example from a Southeast Asian e-commerce business uh, that used the analytics data to identify you know, what platforms they're going to develop for, how they're going to customize their content, how they should take into account the limited bandwidth of their mobile users. Um, in this report, you can see that this company has actually uh, tagged all their pages with goals, so they have a per visit value, right? So Timo spoke about goals, and here's an example of why goals are so important, because then you can start attributing real ROI. And when you look at ROI by uh, mobile platforms, we're seeing that iPad is uh, far and away the, the biggest revenue generator here. $7 per visit value to this site. Right? And it might have something to do with the demographics. It might have something to do with user experience. Uh, probably a mixture of both. Uh, the important thing is that we now can see that. We have insight here. Right? And so you know, iPad is by far the most valuable segment. But we also see that iPhone, iPod users are also generating significant value for the company. So some of the actions we recommended here for after looking at this data is you know, they didn't have an app yet. So we recommended to prioritize iOS development. Uh, we also recommended to improve the website experience for iPad users. Right? If there are certain parts of the site that have flash on it and don't, a render properly, an iPad user does get there. iPad users are visiting the site, and you want to make sure that iPad users are uh, you know, able to in interact with the site properly. Um, and, uh, and lastly, you know, there are users on iPod, Android, iPhone and visiting the site and converting, but we can probably optimize that by optimizing the, exper ex uh, the experience for the small screen real estate. When you looked at mobile visitors by market, of the top 10 markets, seven came from developing countries. And this is a very common trend, actually. We see many countries, especially in Southeast Asia, where mobile internet is leapfrogging desktop internet. Right? And that means that, uh, you know, we, that there's going to be more people accessing the internet from their phones. And it doesn't mean that in the future. It's already happening now. Um, in Thailand and Vietnam, we're already seeing more mobile searches than desktop searches on Google.com. So it's happening now. You know, mobile is now. Mobile is the present. And you know, it shows that, you know, it shows through this data right here. 
So when we look at the top 10 markets uh, by per visit value, you know, we're seeing that uh, you know, there's some surprises in there and that you, know, you, might wanna have, you might think about localizing your content, your mobile content, specifically for those users. Then we looked at uh, mobile visitors by service provider. And mind you, once again, this is the desktop site. Right? So the desktop site had the majority of mobile visitors uh, browsing via service providers, not Wi-Fi in the developing markets. So you need to take into account bandwidth considerations. And some of the actions you can take is that if one provider is working very well for you already on your desktop site, it offers you the data to back up uh, a partnership pitch. Right? You can go and try to partner with that telco to provide an on-deck solution. Uh, that's the desktop side, right? So you measure the desktop side, and then you move on to customize the mobile experience. When you look at apps, analytics can do all the, all the things you already know and love. Page views, events, e-commerce, custom variables. You can use it for testing and debugging. It all works like a charm. Um, there are some slight differences between iPhone and Android, and if you'd like to discuss those, just come, come find me later. Um, but looking at Android, it's the same URL tagging process that we already discussed in, in earlier presentations. Right, you have an ad here, Coca-Cola has an ad here. They tag their URL uh, with the correct parameters, take it to the Android market. The user downloads the app from the Android market. This app is a live wallpaper app. We're able to see the whole stream, the download, the interaction within the app, the application of the live wallpaper, the watching of the YouTube video. We capture it all, right? And we can stack rank it, right? We can, we can do A-B testing. We can figure out what countries perform better, what ad units perform better. Uh, downstream, not just with the download, but with the interaction in the app. How engaged are these users? Interestingly enough, from this campaign, we actually found that many users returned this app because they switched out their wallpapers. They'd set the wallpaper, they'd reset the wallpaper, they'd come back, they'd set the wallpaper again, they'd watch the YouTube video on the second run, and we got to see all of that interaction. And that's the mobile application side. Not that much different, right? We're, think we're talking mobile here, and it's the same set of data it's just interpreted in a different manner because the user's on the go. They're on their phone. It's a different device, but the language is still the same. You know, goals, conversions, clicks, CTR. The language is still exactly the same across mobile, but the usage is different. Let's look at a case with Estee Lauder. Um, and before we look at that case, just want to specify that analytics for smartphone sites, Estee Lauder built a smartphone site, right? It's a site built in HTML. Um, and for smartphone sites, it's the same exact analytics integration. For feature phones, it's slightly different. So if you're trying to target the long tail users uh, on feature phones, there is slightly different analytics integration. Um, with this Estee Lauder case, uh, they built an iPhone and Android optimized site that hosted videos, that had a link to their app, and that really showcased their cyber white skincare product line. And then did it in a really rich environment that the user uh, had, a, you know, that really drew the user in from the smartphone. It's optimized for the smartphone experience. You can see that there's different sections here to browse through, and, uh, and the, the language is, you know, the, the wording is large and clear. Um, and uh, there's, a, there's even an iPhone app customized for the iPhone audience. We used analytics to look at uh, engagement by city. And this was, a, this was a campaign run in Thailand. And in Thailand, we found that uh, the average user spent 27 seconds on the site, but in Phuket, they spent twice the average time. And kind of the insight that we drew from there is that it's like the beach tourists. Beach tourists who are in Phuket are more engaged in researching for skincare products. Right? So the test that we can do next time is targeting a campaign to holiday goers. When you looked at engagement by device, we found that uh, the majority of users were in either Samsung devices or Apple devices. And those Samsung devices were Android. Right? And interestingly enough, Galaxy Tab had the highest usage but they never watch any videos. It is only iPhone and iPad users who watch videos here. So some of the actions that we recommended were testing usability on Androids for this site to make sure that they're reaching the videos and also just making the videos more discoverable. Once again, we can see kind of differentiation in, in, uh, in performance by device here. And that's one of the difficult parts about mobile is you know, the fragmentation of the experience across devices. But analytics makes that easier for you by showcasing how it differs and letting you run reports easily on that. So a quick summary of the insights and actions that we recommended for this campaign. And just know that you know, they're going to do it again. Right? This, is, this is the test. Mobile is still a learning experience. It's new. And so we don't have all the answers yet. We don't have the benchmarks. But you get those benchmarks by running a campaign and observing the behavior, measuring the mobile visitor. So just a final thought here. 
is that mobile users behave differently than website users. Behave differently because they're not sitting at their desk necessarily. You know, they might be on the go. It's not the same screen. It's a tap, it's not a click. Right, so watch for usage patterns by device, by operator networks, by the user's location. Right? And formulate your mobile strategy based on data, because there's plenty of it if you install analytics. It works across all platforms. And if you have any questions, I'm here afterwards. Happy to continue discussing. Thank you very much.